Thanks for tuning in. PJ's here. Uh, it's been the last few days organizing my only closet space I have for a hot wheel. So you can see over here that I've got tubs stacked like uh, four or five feet tall. And then uh, Lucy, Lucy jammers up top. Lucy jammers. I guess that's what you call them. Jammers with Lucy's in them. <laughs> Lucy jammers. Anyways, hope everyone's getting ready for New Year's. And uh, just remember, don't drink and drive. And be careful with those fireworks. I've had a couple blow up in my hand. So, uh, anyway, first up, I'm going to get this out of the way right now. <laughs> Mike was doing some, Mike Antares King was doing some downhill racing the other day. And he was shooting me pictures and whatnot of some cars that were winning. And he's got a pretty fast car that he found, a uh, Hot Wheels Corgi that he found that's uh, running pretty good on the track. And uh, I said, well, crack up that holiday... Uh, holiday hot t hot tub uh, give that a try he said it was close but it didn't win uh so i owe him a uh holiday hot tub mike here's your holiday hot tub brother <laughs> i got one for you this is an extra one that i have laying around so this one's yours mike uh they're pretty tough to find i, I think we did have a local walmart that just pegged those recently there was a few there but i didn't grab them <laughs> Uh, I wasn't too interested in the set anyway. Um, I cracked all mine open and uh, me and my son raced them down the six lane six lane track. Also, I wanted to share with you guys uh, one of my Christmas presents that my wife got me. This is from Comic-Con 2012. She knew I was interested in Comic-Con, but she, I don't have it, any Disney stuff. So it was pretty cool for her to go out of her way and... Uh, Get me something she knew that I didn't have. So this is a Disney Pixar Comic-Con from 2012. That's Mater. Looks like he's uh, going through the car wash there. Setting up, setting up his own little car wash there. It's a pretty cool little display. Just wanted to share with you guys what she got me for Christmas. Uh, she knows one of my favorite Disney cars is Mater. And she thought I'd think it was cool. And it is cool. That's cool. Thanks, wifey. Anyways, this box is from that I got in the mail today. It's from Tex Tanner. He didn't send me a text message or anything. It just showed up on my front porch. Total surprise. Probably the best kind of surprise when you don't know it's coming. Uh, so right off the bat, you guys haven't tuned in to Tex Tanner. That's his drawing. He drew that. He's an awesome artist. I have, I think, I'm going to cut right through it because I hope there's one in here, a copy of it. And uh, he sent me like three or four drawings so far. And I used, I grew up doing a lot of pencil sketches, so I know how long it takes to do some of those, those pencil sketches. And that's pretty cool. He copies the ones he has. Uh, and then makes copies for his friends and whatnot, so that's really cool. So I'm hoping there's an extra one in here. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have to tape that one up back together. Sweet. See? I knew. Look at that. He drew that. That is so sick. Tex, man, you're an awesome, awesome artist. Keep up the good work. That's amazing. That is so sick. I was about to say you didn't sign it, but I see your signature right there. That is so cool. That's amazing. You guys, what do you think of Tex Tanner's artwork? Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to him, go subscribe to him. Every piece that he sends out, he tries to include a drawing. I hope I just didn't set him up, but uh, he's probably got quite a few drawings laying around. He makes copies of them. And there goes my chassis to a car that I'm working on. Hold on a second, let me grab it. My chassis to one of the cars I'm working on. For my buddy Joe Motor. Alright, let's see what's in this package. <laughs> Dang, I almost pulled the trigger on eBay the other day uh, for this one. He knows that... The nearest Kmart to me is like uh, three hours away and then three hours back. 
so it's really tough for me to get to Kmart. This is the last mail-in that I needed. Uh, this is the last Kmart K-Day mail-in. That is so awesome. This is the 59 Cadillac Funny Car. That will go right on the wall. Thank you so much, Tex. That is, that is awesome. Thank you so much. That is cool. Frightening Lightning. Real Riders. Uh, what? Okay, it's on an Ecto card, Ghostbuster card, but it's the Mysterion? Let's see, what's the name of it? Mysterion. Nice Real Rider. Look at that bubble top on that car. That's pretty cool. Mysterion Ghostbusters from the Frightening Lightning series, Johnny Lightning. And the year is... I don't see it offhand. Normally I can find it pretty quick. 1997. Pretty cool. Thank you so much, Tex. And that is a cool piece. This is another chase. You guys see all my chase pieces up here? These are all the top of the line chase pieces for Auto World. And then those are my, uh, I guess there's three different lines. There's a high end, medium end, and a low end. So this is the high end, then my medium end's right there, and low end's right there. And then a nice sign from the Dukes of Hazard, Hazard County, Mopar Matt, shout out to you. So this is a chase piece, uh, Auto World chase piece, 2011, Hennessy Camaro. Look at those wheels. Everybody's been complaining that uh, Auto World's been cheesy on the wheels, but man, these are sick on that Camaro. That is beautiful. Check it out. You guys out there hunting for the chase pieces, it's going to be a burgundy, shiny burgundy like this with some white uh, tampos on it somewhere on the top. And you can log into the site. You can actually uh, track the uh, the pieces that you have or that you're missing and you can log into the site and put what you have into like a little garage area so it's really cool I encourage all you guys to for questions on Auto World go to the Auto World website and uh, you can check out change the piece to a chase piece and see what the chase piece looks like so if you ever have a question and you're out just pull it up on your smartphone and go to that website so thank you so much Tex man that is that is sick <laughs> That is a sick piece right there. Alright. I'm not expecting anything else. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's a Corvette 64 Corvette Stingray. That's a nice That's a nice piece. I don't think I ever picked that one up. That's a cool piece. It's like a I was gonna say, this is like a you guys ever seen this one before? It's like a green glitter. Really, really cool color on that. That's pretty cool. Never noticed that. Never noticed. Never noticed. <laughs> I swear I haven't had one drink today. Never noticed. <laughs> noticed. What's on your mind, PJ? Alright. Oh, sick. A bluebird. I don't think I have this blue one. I'll have to check my, uh, my bluebirds. My 510s to see if I have this blue one. This is a blue one. It's a 102. And these uh, dots and bluebirds are from 2009. I think they came out with several different colors. Um, Morris Mini. Morris Cooper. What do they name it now? Morris Mini. This is the new one. I do have a couple of these, but very cool casting to customize. I know BZ Beast was starting to... He just... Uh, posted in uh, Instagram that he cracked one open and uh, pulled the top off after a couple of minutes. <laughs> but it's a really cool piece. This uh, Morris Mini, actually, the top pops off of it. So if you guys are ever out looking at Hot Wheels and want something that kind of moves and opens and does some cool stuff, this has a pop-off top on it. And most of them have a roll cage inside. I don't think this one has a roll cage. Pretty cool. Here is a 1971 Buick Riviera. Cool. That'd be a nice little low rider. Nice low rider. Nice. Another Morse Mini and a 68 Hemi Barracuda. Look at that flame job. That is cool. Really nice cars right there. 
couple of more pieces here, guys. 07 Ford Mustang, a Toyota Supra, and a Dodge Challenger Drift. Really, really cool pieces. Toyota Supra. Maybe another one I could customize for my boy. Superman. Superman. He's probably got a bajillion of those, though. <laughs> Dodge Challenger Drift Car. It's an error. It's got yellow in the back and white in the front. No, it's supposed to be like that. See the top. Yellow in the back and white in the front. Pretty cool. And then a couple more pieces. Treasure Hunts. Got the Rocket, fi rocket Fire. Jeep CJ7. Yep. And the Chicane. I do have those, but these are extras that he had laying around so I can pass them along to the next person that doesn't have them. Oh, that is so sick. That is so... I had mentioned to him in one of his videos that that fleet line was bad. That thing is bad to the bone. Needs some different wheels though. I don't like those spoke wheels with that flat black. That is sick though. Any flat black cars like that is cool. With flames too and fleet line. Sick. And we got tape over the blister. Here is a street rotter. That is sick. Look at that. Metallic red. My favorite color. I just love that color. My FJ is a burgundy color too. That's this is more of a red though. That is nice. I just like the way it shines. It looks nice. And then it looks like we got another Hot Wheels classic. This oh, that's nice. This is the Deco Delivery. Really nice piece. Love that. I always like the, the classic series. I mean, I'm not out hunting for every single one of them, but just the paint. I mean, you could take that out of the blister, slap some nice wheels on it, and throw it back in a custom card or whatever. And that'd be a nice, nice piece right there. Pretty cool. Thank you so much, man. Totally unexpected. Uh... I remember you saying something about the Auto World Chase piece. I forgot which one it was, so that's really, really cool to get. All these cars are awesome. And uh, to hook me up with the last mail-in, that is... Wow, look at there. You hooked me up with some cotton, too. <laughs> oh, my videos. Quality video right there. It's cotton that I use my, for, my, uh, for my mod. Pretty cool. Anyways... Thank you so much, Tex. Before I get too much more crazy, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great week. Uh, be safe on New Year's and Happy New Year's to everybody. Uh, let's go into 2015 strong. Peace.